today's city minutes we're going to bring to you one of st petersburg's popular recreation programs stay tuned for a demonstration you'll get a kick out of plus we want to emphasize the value of this program which is not only a great workout but helps develop self-discipline and confidence in both adults and children this year, 1987, at a program City Minutes offers to you that's both informative and action-packed. We also want to bring to you major decisions made by City Council this year. We're going to be taking a look at the show that's exciting and action-packed coming up. Linda Campbell will be kicking around a new idea that's catching the attention of both the old and young alike. It's Discipline Through Karate with fifth-degree black belt Michael Kinney. Hello, I'm Linda Campbell, and let's see if you can say some of these words. Kima stance, horseback stance, free sparring, or jujitsu. These are just some of the words you'd be familiar with if you were a student in one of St. Petersburg's most popular recreation programs. And that's a class in karate led by instructor Michael Kinney. And Michael's here with us today, with, along with a group of his students. So tell us about your classes. Well, thank you, Linda. Uh, we have a program at Northwest Community Center. We have over 130 students at the center actively participating in one class. We have uh, about a third of that program as women. And of course, the children's program is the largest part of the program, where we have kids running in age five years old and up. Uh, we have a lot of young ladies in the five or six age group, and we have a really good time with them. Great. Well, briefly, why don't you tell us about your background? I mean, obviously, you're not Oriental, and this is a martial art, but you're very experienced. Well, I started karate back in the 60s, okay, when not many people really heard about karate. I've been in over 22 years. Uh, the great portion of my life was a, as a professional instructor. I instructed over 3,000 students a week, and when I moved to St. Petersburg here, I decided I was going to take it a little bit easier, and I settled for my program at Northwest Center. We have a very big gym and a very professional program uh, geared at the community center level. When are your classes at the Northwest Community Center? We teach, uh, sure, we teach on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings uh, and on Saturday mornings. We had to open up the center on Saturdays oh, to really? accommodate the, the students. To fit more in, that's, that's great. Right. Well, I understand you have a variety of students from children through adults as well as some special education students? Sure, I have, I work with Kath, Kathy Arnott through the uh, uh, department which works with uh, the, the special populations and we have students that are deaf and we have some students that have uh, sight problems. Uh, we have uh, students that have slight emotional problems and special education students. And they're in the same class with we the rest. We fit them in. No. As a matter of fact, Linda, you know, a, a child that's uh, special gets just as much out of this program as a child that's that's in here actively participating. That's great. So we'd encourage anyone to get involved. Sure. Okay. Sure. Well, also today we have one of the parents here with us of several students and that's uh, Barbara Mink. And we had a couple questions. We wondered, would you tell us briefly how the karate program benefits your children? I think one of the biggest benefits has been their increased concentration. Um, and that's carried out throughout the school. When they're learning their forms, they have to really concentrate on them. And it has, it has helped their schoolwork quite a bit. Another thing I think is self-confidence. They don't feel like they have to, you know, um, prove anything to anyone. Mm -hmm. So. Th Self-discipline. What about, do you have any fears of your child in this, say, in this class becoming aggressive or like a bully? No, I don't. In fact, I, as I said, the self-confidence is built in them and it makes them feel better about themselves. Doesn't it teach them self-control? Self-control. Part of it? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Barbara. And now I'm going to turn it over to Michael. He's got um, a lot of demonstrations he's going to narrate for us. Okay, great. You want to hold this? Okay, let's stop, you guys. Would you please clear the mat area? 
What we're going to start with is one of the things that we emphasize in the program is the fact that a lot of things we do have historical nature. Uh, Ed is going to come up in front of the camera right now, and he's going to demonstrate a form that was developed in the mid-1800s by the Oriental builders of the railroad of this country. Back in the 1800s, uh, the railway workers were imported in from Asia, and they had to work 14-hour days uh, on the railroad. And after this 14-hour day, uh, they were, of course, hardly worked. What they did was they came at the end and, and got onto the railroad tracks to show the overseers and their foremen how much iron will they had in order to, to concentrate and do these forms with full power after working these long days in which they were, uh, they were really worked hard. So this form is done with great amount of power and it's done along the railroad tracks and it's called Iron Horse. And of course the Iron Horse is the railroad. Okay, go ahead, Ed. Now as you can see, the stance that he uses, okay, spreads across the course of the railroad track. And what they really concentrated on doing after their long day working on the railroad was developing upper body power. And this way they showed all the foremen, they said, hey, look at us, you're not going to break our will. And this uh -huh. is the way, this is why we call this iron horse. So it's very intense, I see. That's right. He's working on concentrating on power and focus and upper body motion. And focus is one of the primary things that we work about in our form, is teaching these people to really concentrate on what they're doing. Okay, the next little demonstration we have is our, some of the kids. Mark, would you come up, please? And what they're going to do is they're going to do the same thing. Now, what you just saw Ed do was fighting off an uh, imaginary opponent, and now we're going to take the imaginary uh, opponents away, and Mark is going to do a form, and as he does this, they're all going to be attacking him from different angles. Ready? <coughs> They all attack at once. That's he, right. He this is the same exact himself. thing, except there's no opponent in the first one, and this time he's got an opponent there. Uh -huh. I understand. One of the things they learn all along is actually they don't make contact. It's more of a self-control to go to that point and stop. Sure. Uh, as a beginning student learns, what they learn is to control themselves, much as a dancer <gasps> learns to control themselves. And as they get more experience, they learn to develop the power and put everything into the technique that they do. Thank you, guys. Him, They're all down on the ground. Okay, why don't you guys move off? Okay. All right, who we got next on here? Okay, come on out. Cindy is going to be attacked by two thugs, okay? And this is Ben and Greg, and they're uh, some of our uh, older teenage boys here, and they're going to be attacking Cindy, who's nine years old in a brown belt. Wow. Okay, Chirkunye? All right. Now, the idea is not to give cha uh, Cindy a chance to think. You ready? Get her. Got one now. Now, most of this, again, yeah. is leverage. She doesn't need power in order to throw these people around. What she's doing is throwing them off balance, using different angles and different directions in order to yeah. make the person go off balance. So she's using her mind and her yeah. attitude at the, in the order of importance of yeah. what's involved. She's the main goal is to get the people off of her, okay? Because she's not strong enough really to hurt any of these guys with a punch or a kick, because she's very small. Uh -huh. But she can manipulate them and yeah. hurt their balance. Surprise them. That's right, surprise uh -huh. them, kicks yeah. them off guard, kicks, kicks them in places where they're not used to being kicked. Okay, thank you, Chimbi. Chikunye. Very good, Cindy. Good job. Okay, great. The next demonstration we're going to do is uh, let's have uh, um, uh, Jesse okay, and Steven up. Okay. And face the camera, please. Okay. They're going to do a form again, and this time without an opponent. Okay. And these are, this is a lower belt form, something that we teach the beginning students to do. Ready? Sijak. And one of the things good about karate is that they have realistic goals that they set. Okay. Mm -hmm. In other words, what they're trying to do is get each belt level. They're not aiming for their black belt. They're aiming for the next belt level that they're being promoted to. And this is very realistic for them because a lot of kids can't comprehend the idea of doing something <coughs> on a level where they're uh, expected more than they can from really do. That's why they sure. start with the different levels. Sure. And what are the colors Should of the belts, the basic ones? We the start off as white belts, which is a beginner. Then we go to yellow, and then we go to green, blue, brown, and black. So you can see these are intermediate students. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chair Kunye, have a seat. Okay, very good. Okay, Greg and Ben, let's have you come up. Okay, Greg and Ben are going to demonstrate what we call one-step sparring. Okay, ready? See, Jacques. Now, in one-step sparring, what you have <coughs> is an attacker who's coming in with a frontal <coughs> attack, and what they're doing is learning many, many different ways to deal with this frontal attack. <coughs> As you can see, they're not hitting each other. They <coughs> practice control so that they know exactly where they're putting their hands and exactly where they're putting their feet. And again, watch, they're doing a whole variety of techniques. Again, they're using these angles that we talked about. And we include what we call jiu-jitsu in our style of karate. That's and a form of self-defense? That's where you get people off of you when they grab you. And in karate, we kick and punch. And karate is a Japanese word that means the art of kicking and punching. And that's exactly what they're doing. And they've developed it into an art form. OK, 
Okay, Chimbi. Okay. Now what I'd like to go ahead and have bow. Okay. Sam, come on out with Nick. Okay. Chimbi. Chikunye. Okay, go ahead, free sparring. And what they're doing is they're demonstrating free sparring. Okay, and this is where they work on developing power and control, and they don't know what each other's going to do, and they're trying to get points. And this is what we do in sport karate. And in sport karate, again, we, we don't t touch, we don't hit, and as you can see, they're coming very close, like a half an inch away from each other, and using tremendous amounts mm -hmm. of power. Okay, Chumbi. And we have one last demonstration, right? Sure, can you? So right. we're ready for that. Okay, let's get up with a break. Okay. okay, let's go. Just take one second to set up here. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's go. Now what they're going to do, a lot of people ask, why do we do breaking techniques? Get up close, guys. Get up real close. Close to them. Okay, one of the reasons we do breaking techniques is to show that these students can focus their power. Nick is going to run in, jump over these three people, and break these two boards. Anytime ready? you're ready, Nick. Let's go. See him. Right through the boards, Great. okay? And the reason that we're doing this, again, is to show this concentration of power that these kids get. Thank you, Nick. Have a seat. Great, and that's it. We thank you for watching our karate demonstration. And for more information, we'd like you to call Northwest Community Center, and that number is 893-7751. And stay tuned. Uh, I'll be right back with the events calendar for February.